Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Techno Talks here. So in front of us today, we do have a case by Pitaka, and this case is for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So this case actually has something very cool, which is one of the main reasons I am gonna be taking a look at this case. It has something that I haven't seen on any other case so far, and so let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so this is their pin button case, and it does also have MagSafe compatibility, so if you do use MagSafe, this is a added bonus. Plus, we do get our color, nice little image of what the case looks like, and then some information right here on the back. We do get a little more information. Other than that, let's just go ahead and open this up. So right away, we are revealed with the case right inside, and if we do go ahead and pull that out, that is gonna be it. So nothing else inside of here. Other than that, we do have a QR code right here, and that is to customize some features about this case, which I will go ahead and show in a bit. All right, so inside we do get some removal instructions. You can also scan the QR code to watch the video, which you probably don't need. And then here is the actual thing I was talking about. So get ready, the game is about to begin. To kick things off, make sure your phone is unlocked and NFC scanning is turned on. So this case actually has a couple of extra buttons. On the left side, we can see three extra buttons and these can actually be mapped to whatever you want the phone to do. So that is gonna be something I will be showing off. So right away inside, we do have this nice soft touch material, and then we do get the MagSafe ring cut out right there, which you can see, and it does say Pataka with some extra lettering right there. Other than that, really not much else to this case. So to place our phone inside, all we have to do is just place the buttons on the right side, and then just push down, and voila. I do also have a screen protector on here from another company, and so this is a screen protector friendly case, which is really nice. So on the back, we do get that nice pattern, which looks super cool. This is a little different compared to some other Pitaka cases. This is made of silicon, so it does feel a little different. It does have a plastic body, unlike the Aramid fiber cases we have, but that is not the reason for this case anyways. So taking a look at the camera lenses, we can see that they are all covered up individually, and so if you do drop it on its back, those should be perfectly fine, which is good to know. We do have some branding on the back. It does say Pataka on the back. You can see that pretty nice and easy. I don't really like when companies put their logo all over the case. And so this is all right. I would have liked it if it was a little more subtle, but this would be fine. So taking a look at the front of this display, we can see that the case, the top and the bottom is actually being covered up. So if you drop it on its face, it should be fine in most circumstances. Unfortunately, the edges aren't really that high. They are actually above the display. However, the screen protector does make it, so it's very minimal. And so again, if you do drop it because of these edges, it won't really touch anything. But if those edges weren't there, the top and bottom, then this screen might actually touch the ground. However, once again, the top and the bottom are raised up enough that that does not happen. We also do get a cutout for our speaker grill, so our speaker grill is perfectly fine. And if we do take a look at the bottom, we do see Designed by Pataka. We have a nice little cutout for our USB-C charging port, speaker grill, and our S Pen. Unfortunately for the S Pen, we don't have an extra cutout, and so it's a little harder to access. They haven't really embedded it as well as some other case companies. Usually sometimes they do make an extra little cutout so you can access it easier. And now that my nails are really short, I can't really access it as easily as I would want. So that is kind of a disappointment. Once again, on the left side, we do get those mappable buttons. So three of them. And then on the right side, we do get our volume rocker and power button. So if we do go ahead and test those out, starting off with the power button. So in three, two, one. Very nice and easy to click. Moving on to the volume rocker. Once again, very nice and easy to click. So really impressed by the buttons. All right, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at the MagSafe. To test out the MagSafe, I do have a nice little power bank right here. This is a MagSafe power bank. And if you do go ahead and plop it on, we can see that it does stick onto there perfectly. However, the magnets aren't as strong as some other cases. But again, this will get the job done. Your phone or your wallet or whatever you attach to it won't fall off and it should be safe. So let's go ahead and do a nice little shake test. Again, super strong and does clip on there perfectly. So no worries. Again, as I said, it's a little weaker than some other magnets I've seen, but that does not mean this has weak magnets. This still has a really strong magnet, which is good to know. And again, wireless charging does work. Unfortunately, this power bank probably doesn't have any charge, so we're not gonna be seeing it. But again, this does have wireless pass-through with MagSafe. All right, so now let's go ahead and actually set up these NFC buttons that we have. So starting off, we do wanna hop into our settings. And we do wanna go into modes and routines, which is gonna be down here. So once you click modes and routines, all you have to do is click routines. 
and now we're gonna be adding a certain routine. Go ahead and do that. All we have to do is click this plus button and then we're gonna go ahead and click add what will trigger this routine. So once we click that, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to NFC as this does use NFC. And to set it up using this NFC tag in this routine, we'll delete any previous information, hold the back of your phone against an NFC tag, or we're gonna go ahead and hold down the button. So I do wanna program the first button, go ahead and hold it down, go ahead and name it three, because that's gonna be the third button. I do wanna do one, two, three, and then we're gonna click done. And then we're gonna go ahead and click add what this routine will do. So if we do go ahead and click that, we have a couple of options right here. All of these actions are down here, but again, I do wanna open an app with this. So if I do go ahead and click open an app or do an app action, go ahead and click that. We can now ask it to open a certain app. So you can scroll through your apps and choose one. I'm gonna go ahead and click calculator because I feel like using the calculator with that. I'm gonna click done. And now that is what it does. So if we do go ahead and click the save, you can go ahead and change everything here. You can change the name, you can change the color and everything like that. You can customize it. I'm just gonna go ahead and click done. And now if I do go ahead and hold that button, we can see that it does open up the calculator. So doing it again and voila. Now let's go ahead and actually set up the other two buttons. Again, same process, modes and routines. If what, we're gonna go ahead and do NFC tagged. Go ahead and hold down the tag you want. Go ahead and name it number two, done. And then we're gonna make it open an app again. This time I want it to open camera. Go ahead and click done save done and now let's go ahead and hold down the second button and now as you can see it does open up our camera so overall a really nice feature to be added onto a case this will definitely help me out a lot it's honestly really nice that you can just quickly open up apps with the holding of a button and the buttons aren't something that covers up the buttons that you already use on your phone these are extra buttons that come with the case which is super cool being able to do an action with these extra three buttons will really help me out with a lot of the things. So being able to quickly open up an app or maybe even doing an action, it doesn't have to just be an app. I could set do not disturb with this, which is super nice, or, you know, set another action with that. And so overall, these buttons are going to be very useful. So this is going to be the Pitaka pin button case. As always, if you did like this case, I will have a link in the description. And again, if you do want to support the channel, make sure to like and subscribe and see y'all in the next one.